Like lost your own balance there a little bit. I don't really know what move I was going for. One of these. You know? Anyway, hey guys, how are we? Welcome back to another video. We're in the kitchen, which can only mean one thing. We're here for my favorite thing to do in the kitchen. Cook a dinner with Kelsey. I'm imagining applause. I uh, can't hear any, but I'm imagining applause. So if you're home watching this, let's get a round of applause for dinner with Kelsey. Can't wait to make this meal. I'm starving and it looks so good. And you guys know I have a very special sponsor for my dinner with Kelsey's that I love so much and that is HelloFresh. And this video is no different. This dinner with Kelsey is sponsored by HelloFresh. So, so if you guys have somehow never heard me talk about HelloFresh and you don't know what it is, HelloFresh is a meal delivery service that delivers fresh pre-measured ingredients right to your door and makes cooking fun, makes cooking easy, and makes cooking affordable. They offer so many recipes each week that you can choose from so you are never stuck in any sort of like recipe rut. You're always making new things. I, I've i never made the same thing twice for you guys. I love all of these recipes. They have more five-star recipes than any other meal kit service so you know you're gonna be eating good. I have a tendency to get a little bit stressed down in the kitchen, but thank you to HelloFresh, I'm learning how to get more comfortable, and HelloFresh cuts out the stressful like meal planning and prepping so you can get dinner on the table as quick as possible, like 30 minutes. And with their quick and easy recipes, it only takes like 20. And this month in August, they started their Taste of Summer series with everything from like delicious grilled main courses to awesome farm fresh sides. And since it's hot outside, all of those recipes are minimizing oven use so you're not like getting too hot in the kitchen, but they're maximizing on those seasonal flavors that we all know and love. You guys have really seen like my cooking journey. I used to be a full on mess in the kitchen and I'm not saying I'm 100% better, but I just love using HelloFresh. We use it all the time. It's helped me make things that I never thought I would be able to make and it makes me feel so adventurous in the kitchen. I just, I just love it. It's the best. Like these cards, the pictures, everything helps me so much and I just, I can't get enough, honestly. And I know you guys would love it too, so go to HelloFresh.com and use my code KelseyK14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. So today is a special day. I usually get the veggie meals, but I have some meat meals today and I haven't cooked a meal with meat in a really long time and I was feeling a little bit adventurous, which, you know, beauty of HelloFresh, you can change it like that. Today I am making special sauce house burgers with griddled onion and garlic potato wedges. So let's get our bag of goodies and see what we're working with. Here it is. So the meat is still in the fridge. I'm not gonna take it out yet. I'm not gonna face the meat until I really have to. Should we do a little ingredient haul? Dijon mustard, tomato, some Yukon gold potatoes, potato buns, looking good. Ketchup, never seen HelloFresh ketchup before. Sour cream, I feel like they always sneak one of these in there. There's always a sour cream. <laughs> Making burgers, oh, get the sour cream out. A onion. Some cheddar cheese, go getter cheddar, garlic powder. You don't see that every day in a HelloFresh bag. You wish it was vodka, but it's just white wine vinegar, which is almost just as good. And there we have it. Now let's get to cooking. So first thing we're gonna do, obviously, you know, we start with the prep. We're gonna adjust the rack. All right, there we go. That's adjust. <laughs> ah, that's funny, you know? Boob jokes. We're gonna adjust the rack to the top position and preheat the oven to 425. So let's preheat the oven and then wash all of our produce, and then cut. I really like to do that. Everything is wash. Cut potatoes into half an inch thick wedges. I can't like picture what half an inch looks like to like save my life. I have no idea. I've never cut fries before. A fry's a fry, you know? Some are big, some are small. I really don't like thick fries though. I'm like, these are turning out to be a little thicker than mama would like. Okay, fries chopped. Boom. Next up, have peel and finely dice the onion. Oof. Blech. Okay. I can never cut anything directly in half. I'm so bad at that. Okay, let's cut these onions. Hopefully I won't cry. What's the best way to cut an onion again? Uh, 
down, 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 and then across, 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 or across, 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 and then down, down, down. Like, you want to do it like a short ways first, and then you cut the long ways. <laughs> so you're saying short ways and long ways, and I'm saying across, across, down, down? Yeah. I don't know which one's which. Across. Don't cut the long way first. Cut the short way. Like, cut across the short way. So now he's like this. So yeah. this is the long way, this is the short way. You want to cut the short way? Well, I cut it in half already. Yeah. So flip. Just be like this. No, no, <laughs> like no. Like this. That's how you do it. And then you go like, like dip, 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 all like almost all the way to the answer holds together. And then so you. Bop, same with bop, this. Bop, bop. And then cut this. Oh boy. My heart. I loved it. <laughs> Haley, can you cue up some sad music? <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> Caviar, how beautiful is that? She's beautiful too. Oh my gosh, okay, we laughed, we cried, we cut our onions. Thinly sliced tomatoes into rounds. Okay, so tomatoes, okay, so next up, we have that, let's leave that to the side. Let's bring this over here. Ooh, okay, next thing we're gonna do, so a little bit of olive oil. That was a fuck ton. Great, toss that up. Just use your hands. Now we're gonna get our garlic powder. Let's just toss that on there. And some salt, and some pepper. Toss these up, they're seasoned to perfection. Roast on top rack until brown and crisp. 20 to 25 minutes, say goodbye to these potatoes. And soon we're gonna say hello to our fries. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Next. Up. Let's pickle some onions and make some mother effing sauce. Combine a tablespoon of onions. The vinegar, where are you? Oh my god. Ow, fuck. Shit. Hang on. <laughs> vinegar, teaspoon of sugar, and a pinch of salt. What do we have here? Another small bowl. And for that one, we're gonna do our ketchup, which you know I was very excited about. This is the sauce, sour cream. See, and now I'm learning how to make like a burger sauce. If I don't have like HelloFresh and I wanna make a little burger sauce, now I'm gonna be able to do it. Dijon mustard. I don't know why I never think sour cream. I'm happier if it's sour cream than like if it was mayo. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <coughs> Another teaspoon of sugar and the rest of the garlic powder. And we mix that up. Mix it up. You know burger sauce just like has that color. And it's usually because I thought it was Thousand Island, which is mayo and ketchup. This is another ball game. What? Oh my God, that's so good. That tastes like Big Mac sauce. Now we're gonna go over here and cook our onions. So while you're cooking the onion, you have to form the patties. And I know that that's gonna stress me out. So I thought I'd form the patties first, pop them back in the fridge, cook the onions, and then take the patties out. You know, classic. So here is the ground beef. I'm a little bit um, disturbed. I don't think I can do this actually. Like how am I supposed to make burgers for my kids? I don't know why I would imagine my kids eating burgers all the time, whatever. I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. There's a grilling alternative on here, so if you did want to grill these burgers, you can. I don't want to go outside, because it's dark out, and I'm scared of the dark, the outside dark. Let's get the meat, but I'm gonna get Cody down here to help me because I'm gonna throw up. Forming the patties. You can make mine like a little bit thinner. Give it a little, good, a little tap there. So while Cody's forming these patties, let's go cook some onions. Huh? What do you say? What do you say we leave the boys to, the, to that? Uh. 
yummy sliding around. One, oh my gosh. And two. Yeah. Okay, I just flipped them. They honestly look pretty hot and sexy. I'm gonna cover them with the cheese, cheese on top, and then I'm gonna put this on here so that it melts. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Hey, it's burger assembling time. I'm gonna put the pickled onions into this sauce, and then you take your beautiful hamburger. I'll put that down. Hamburger, smells good here, doesn't it? Like really good. Onion, onion, sauce, Put it on this part. Oh yeah, get that good, good on there. You know what I mean? That good, good. That's what I just love calling it. And then, a couple of tomatoes. Place this on top. And now, there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God, how good is that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The onions, the sauce. You guys know I'm picky about me. You too, okay? But no. The sauce tastes like um, a very reputable hamburger restaurant sauce. Wait, these fries are so good too. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, yum. Big success. Thank you for your help with the meat. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for watching another edition of Dinner with Kelsey, where we face our fears and we eat delicious food all in one. And thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Love you. Thank you. See you next time.